हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम बैक दिस इज संजय कुमार फाउंडर एंड क्रिएटर ऑफ सेलेक्टर सॉन्ग वी वेस्ट अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम लाइक वाइल राइटिंग एक्स पाथ फॉर एनी काइंड ऑफ यू आई ऑटोमेशन स्क्रिप्ट एंड इन फैक्ट लाइक इन सम सिचुएशन वी वेस्ट अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम लाइक वन मिनट टू मिनट्स एंड समटाइम्स इवन मोर येस देर विल बी मैनी सिचुएशन वेयर वी यूज टू गेट आई डी और सम यूनिक एट्रीब्यूट सो दैट बिकम्स एंड इन दो सिचुएशन इट बिकम्स वेरी फास्ट टू राइट दी एक्स पाथ लाइक यस दैट कुड बी लाइक टेन सेकेंड और फाइव सेकेंड ऑफ टाइम वी यूज टू टेक टू राइट एक्स पाथ एंड एक्स पाथ इन दोज काइंड ऑफ सिचुएशन वेयर वी गेट द यूनिक एट्रीब्यूट और सम टेक्सट बट इन मैनी सिचुएशन वी हैव टू वेस्ट अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम आई बिलीव लाइक यू ऑल विल एग्री सो हाउ कैन वी जनरेट दी रिलायबल एक्स पाथ यूनिक एक्स पाथ ऑटोमेटिकली विच कैन सेव अस अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम and in fact like those kind of x path like relative to some other element can we generate those kind of x path access based x path basically automatically so yes those kind of things can be done automatically now which can save a tremendous amount of time like maybe if you are writing if you are writing ui automation script a lot of ui automation script every day and you have to deal with like let's say uh, around 50 x path every day 40 to 50 x path every day in that situation you have to waste a lot of time like some x path could be easy some x path definitely will be complex one so how can we save time there because x path is not really the only thing that you have to do of course like uh, when ui automation is script fails most of the time that fails because of locators thing but wasting time just in writing x path is that uh like really uh meaningful and is like really required in this kind of era in this kind of situation when lots of things has been invented so i believe like not to waste that much time in writing x path because yes you should learn you should know how to write x path but at at a time like when you are expert in writing x path and selectors nobody wants to waste time there so let's see how can we generate x path quickly and automatically so here i will show you with the help of uh, selectors hub so what you have to do uh, selectors hub plugin you have to install from here you can just install from selectorshub.com website it's absolutely free <laughs> and then after installing it like uh, just go to any page let's say we go to this practice page here on selectors hub website this is very good page what you have to do you just right click on on the element click on inspect and the left side you will see that selectors hub you will find it here as a last tab but you can drag and drop now tab anywhere so i have already a drag here let me just zoom in <coughs> and you see that here let me little more zoom in so you can see that x path is automatically generated for this element this is here you can simply copy this and paste anywhere in your script wherever you want to use so this is as quick as it is you just have to inspect the element let's say we inspect this products it got generated you can simply click copy if you want to generate for any element let's say for this password you just inspect that or just right click and click on inspect so there are three ways like one you can uh, use this arrow inspect button of dev tools like this click inspect another is like you right click and click on inspect and third one is like you uh, select any dom node so basically like in short this is like inspecting the element so just inspect the element and you will get the best x path automatically generated from the selector so you see that relative x path there you also get the index based x path because in some situation where none of the attribute is unique and <coughs> there's a big long x path is generated so in that case it also generate the index based x path which will be always a smaller one and it will be like generated with the index of that element depending on the occurrence of the that all element in that page with respect to that x path also if requ if you require like absolute x path if you uh, scroll down you will see that here absolute x path is also there so you get all kinds of x path in selector sub and irrespective of any kind of element like with, whether that is svg element or that is inside iframe and 
I will not say Shadow DOM because Shadow DOM doesn't support XPath, so it will not generate XPath for that. But it will generate for iframe, nested iframe, like this. This element is inside nested iframe. Two iframes are there: iframe one XPath, iframe two XPath. It also gives you the XPath of that iframe, so you need not to write the XPath for iframe, as well as it gives the XPath for that inspected element. So this way, you <laughs> you can generate the XPath for any kind of web element with the help of selector sub without wasting any time just in single click just inspect the element and there you go you get the x path and best robust x path in some situation you will notice that it will generate x path for this element let's say for this element it is generating trust me if you write this x path for this enter your company name here for this field it will take a lot of time because none of the attribute here is unique for this element but what selector sub does selector sub automatically understand that okay this element doesn't have any unique attribute so it will start looking for that unique parent and it will directly connect with that parent and generate the best robust x path without index it also generate with index if you want with index you can use this one if you doesn't want with index then you can take this one so this is very very helpful there is another simpler way to get the x path for this kind of element like you just right click here without opening even selector sub you can copy the x path from here copy relative x path copy absolute x path so you can directly copy the x path from the context menu you just have to right click and selector sub and there you go so you can simply copy from here best thing very much time saver so this is the way that you can generate the x path for any element just right click click on inspect open selectors hub here in the dom and you would be able to generate the selector for the inspected element <coughs> x path for the inspected element now like i said in the beginning you might require in many situation where you want, want to generate the x path for an element with respect to another element let's say we want to generate x path for this enter password field with respect to this password label so how can we generate this access based x path so here you see in selector sub you have this access button click on this now it is asking you to inspect the parent so just click on this dev tools button inspector dev tools inspector first inspect the password field and then it is asking you to inspect child then inspect this enter password field and there you go it has generated x path for password field enter password field with respect to password label this is the one you can simply copy this and paste it in your script so easy it is now suppose you want to uh, like generate x path let's say for pro plans with respect to products so first inspect the products and then inspect the pro plan and there you go it is so simple and so easy to generate the x path for an element with respect to other element if you want to uh, like ever face challenge in this kind of feature to use in this feature while using this feature if you face any challenges there is always a tutorial attached with each and every feature so you can watch this for a detailed tutorial of this feature so this is very simple and very easy to use lots of other features are there like you can attribute filter is there if you want to generate with particular attribute you want to generate this with command like let's say this x path is generated you want with command you just turn on this and you will get this with complete command like driver dot find element by dot x path you will not have to type even this command you can copy this and in fact like lots of other commands are there let's say you want to generate with page object model so you select this and hit enter if you're working on cypress you need this cy.get you can use this one if you're working with playwright you, <coughs> you can use uh, that playwright command so anything you can use and it will be very helpful <coughs> so this way you can generate x path automatically from the selector sub for an element or with respect to an element index based x path for iframe for svg element and for all of them this is very very time saver feature it can save a lot of time for you guys like unnecessarily wasting a lot of time doesn't make sense then if you want to go to the next level if you want to use uh, if you want to like really improve the productivity then there is like lot more features 
more advanced feature is there in selector sub pro it's very simple <laughs> like again selector sub pro is a uh, uh, like selector sub just an upgraded version so that like those people those who want to save more time they can use this like here you see that access based xpath feature all those features remain same like let me show you some advanced feature like in access you want to generate access based xpath so you just click on this button and here you choose this selector sub inspector now you see how fast it is to generate the relative xpath just inspect this and this you need not to click multiple times on this dev tools inspector so here you see that it has generated now suppose you want for pro plans with respect to product click here then click here and there you go you want for anything let's say you want for enter user with respect to user email click this then click this and there you go so it generates like really quick and really easy you need not to click multiple times and whenever you want to disable right click and done similarly like context menu feature here you have a next level feature <clears throat> like in uh, free version you have seen that you copy the relative x bar but you didn't see the value like what is the value right now when you are copying you click this but you are blind like you haven't seen the value but in pro version you right click and you see that the value will be you can see the value before copying it click on this now value got copied so it's more advanced more easy more time saver when you use the pro version and it's very cheap like almost free you can always uh, check out the plans here on selectors of website so <laughs> depend on like whichever you want to use free version you can use free version and if you want to save more time you want to use like next level innovation you want to really uh, enjoy the uh, uh, pro version you can use this one so uh, basically like in nutshell this is how you can generate the x path automatically for your uh, playwright script selenium script or cypress script or any automation tool whichever you are using uh, for your uh, web automation you really need the x path so in that kind of situation you can use selectors of which will save a lot of time for you to automatically generate the x path selectors and there are like like lot many features if you want to edit x path verify x path anything uh, you want to handle related to web elements everything is there in selector sub so for that i will highly recommend that you you uh, watch the detailed tutorial of selector sub and this is all about uh, the selector sub which will save a lot of time for you guys to uh, like to save a lot more time when you are writing the web automation script automatically generate the x path I hope you uh, like this tutorial and you like these features of selectors up I will really request you guys please give a thumbs up please like this uh, video let others know about selectors up if you want to give the uh, session or if you want to uh, present write something on selectors up feel free to do that if you want to present this in conferences or webinar or anything in your company feel free to do that if you need any help anything required from my side do let me know I will be more than happy to help you guys and please let us know if you want any new features in selector sub selector sub pro and if you face any difficulty while writing xpath in selectors do let me know in the comment section i will be more than happy to add those features in selector sub with that thank you thank you so much bye bye